Right now, in this very moment, you're on the edge of something incredible. You're about to win big, and I'm not talking about a game or a lottery. I'm talking about winning at life itself. This isn't just another video to scroll past. This is your wake-up call, your chance to change everything. Let me tell you why you're going to win. It's not because of luck or coincidence. It's because of the immense power within your own mind. Your thoughts, beliefs, and focus. These are the tools that will shape your future. And today, we're going to learn how to use them. Consider this. Every single day, you have around 60,000 thoughts. That's 60,000 opportunities to change your life. But here's the thing. Most people think the same thoughts day after day. They're caught in a loop, repeating old patterns and getting the same results. But not you. Not anymore. Your brain is always changing, thanks to neuroplasticity. Every time you learn something new, every time you think a new thought or have a different experience, your brain forms new connections. It's like building new pathways in your mind. And the more you use these pathways, the stronger they become. So what if you started building pathways that lead to success, happiness, and health? What if you could rewire your brain to win? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Your thoughts create your reality. This isn't just a feel-good saying, it's science. When you think a thought, your brain releases chemicals. Happy thoughts release different chemicals compared to sad or angry thoughts. And these chemicals affect every cell in your body, influencing how you feel, how you act, and even how your body functions. Now imagine if you could control these chemicals, if you could choose to feel motivated, confident, and powerful whenever you wanted. That's what winning looks like and that's what we're aiming for. But here's the catch, it takes practice. You can't think one positive thought and expect your whole life to change. You need to do it consistently, day after day. It's like working out. You don't get fit by going to the gym once. You have to keep at it. So how do we do this? How do we train our brains to win? It starts with awareness. Most people go through their day on autopilot they don't even notice what they're thinking, but you're different. From now on, you're going to pay attention to your thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking something negative, stop, take a deep breath, and replace that thought with something positive. If you think, I can't do this, change it to, I am learning how to do this. If you think, this is too hard, change it to, this is a chance for me to grow. At first, it might feel fake. Your old brain patterns will try to pull you back, but remember, you're building new pathways. It takes time, but every positive thought is like laying down a new brick on that road to success. Now let's talk about your environment. Look around you, what do you see? Who do you spend time with? What do you watch, read, or listen to? All of these things are programming your brain and shaping your thoughts and beliefs. If you wanna win, you need to create an environment that supports your goals. Surround yourself with positive people who believe in you. Read books that inspire you, listen to music that motivates you, Watch videos like this one that help you succeed. But it's not just about what's around you, it's also about what's inside you. Your body is part of your environment too. How you stand, how you breathe, even how you move, all of it affects your mind. Try this right now. Stand up straight, pull your shoulders back, lift your chin, and smile. Feel that? That's the posture of a winner. That's the body language of success. Hold that pose for two minutes and you'll start to feel different. Your brain will start producing chemicals that make you feel confident and powerful. Now let's talk about focus. Your brain has something called the reticular activating system, RAS. It's like a filter that decides what information gets through to your conscious mind. And you can control this filter with your focus. Have you ever noticed that when you buy a new car, you suddenly see that same car everywhere? That's your RAS at work. You've told your brain that this car is important, so it starts noticing it more. The same thing happens with your goals. When you focus on what you want, your brain starts noticing opportunities to achieve it. It filters out distractions and zooms in on what's important. So what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on your problems or on solutions? Are you focusing on what you lack or on what you have? Are you focusing on past failures or future successes? From now on, you're going to focus on winning. 
You're going to focus on your goals, your dreams, on becoming the person you want to be, and your brain will start showing you ways to make it happen. But it's not enough to just think about winning. You need to feel it too. Your emotions are like fuel for your thoughts. They give power to your intentions. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine yourself achieving your biggest goal. See it clearly in your mind. Now feel the emotions that come with that achievement. Feel the joy, the pride, the satisfaction. Let those emotions fill your entire body. That feeling, that's the key to your success. When you combine clear thoughts with powerful emotions, you create a new state of being. You're not just thinking about winning, you're becoming a winner from the inside out. Now, some of you might be thinking, this sounds great, but my life is tough right now. I have real problems. I hear you, life can be challenging. But here's the truth. Your problems are not who you are. They're just situations you're experiencing. The real you is much bigger than any problem. The real you is connected to something greater. Call it the universe, consciousness, or God. Whatever name you choose, there is an infinite field of possibilities surrounding you, and you can tap into it. This is where meditation plays a role. When you meditate, you're not just relaxing. You're altering your brain waves, shifting from the beta waves of daily stress to the alpha and theta waves, where creativity and healing take place. In this relaxed state, your body begins to heal itself, your mind becomes clearer, and you open up to new ideas and possibilities. This is where true change occurs. Start with just five minutes a day. Sit quietly, focus on your breath, and let go of your thoughts. As you practice, you'll be able to meditate for longer and start noticing changes in your life. But meditation is only the beginning. The real magic happens when you combine it with intention. Before meditating, set a clear intention for what you want to create in your life. See it, feel it, believe it, then let go and trust that the universe will bring it to you. This might sound unusual if you're not accustomed to it, but remember, everything in the physical world began as an idea, as a thought. The chair you're sitting on, the device you're using to read this, all started in someone's mind. Your life is no different. It's a reflection of your thoughts and beliefs. So if you want to change your life, you need to change your thoughts and your beliefs about what's possible for you. Write down your biggest goal. Now write down all the reasons why you think you can't achieve it. Look at those reasons. Are they facts or are they just beliefs? Are they true or are they simply stories you've been telling yourself? Now for each of those limiting beliefs, write down a new empowering belief. If you wrote, I'm not smart enough, change it to, I am always learning and growing. If you wrote, I don't have enough time, change it to, I make time for what's truly important. These new beliefs might feel strange at first, and that's okay. Remember, you're building new neural pathways. You're creating a new version of yourself, and it takes time. As you change your beliefs, you'll begin to see evidence of them in your life. You'll notice opportunities you hadn't seen before. You'll find solutions to problems that once seemed impossible, and you'll meet people who can help you on your journey. This is what I mean when I say you're going to win. You're not just going to achieve an external goal. You're going to transform yourself from the inside out. You're going to become someone who naturally attracts success, health, and happiness. Now let's talk about habits. Your daily habits are the building blocks of your life. They're the small actions that over time create big results. If you want to win, you need to develop winning habits. Start with your morning routine. How do you start your day? Do you immediately check your phone, filling your mind with other people's thoughts and agendas? Or do you take time for yourself to set your intentions and prepare your mind for success? For the next week, start your day with 15 minutes of quiet time. Use this time to visualize your goals, to feel gratitude for what you have, and to affirm your new, empowering beliefs. This simple habit can change the entire course of your day, and over time, the entire course of your life. Throughout the day, look for small ways to reinforce your new identity as a winner. Stand tall, speak with confidence, treat others with kindness and respect. These may seem like small things, but they add up. They shape how you see yourself and how others perceive you. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small. Did you make a healthy food choice? Celebrate it. Did you have a productive workday? Celebrate it. 
Did you stay calm in a stressful situation? Celebrate it. When you celebrate your wins, you train your brain to look for more wins, creating a positive feedback loop that propels you towards greater and greater successes. Now, let's talk about fear. Fear is one of the biggest obstacles that prevents people from winning. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown. These fears can paralyze you and keep you stuck in your comfort zone. But here's the thing, fear is just a thought, a thought that triggers a physical response in your body. And like any other thought, you can change it. The next time you feel fear, don't run from it. Don't ignore it. Instead, face it directly. Feel where it shows up in your body. Is it a tightness in your chest, a knot in your stomach? Whatever it is, breathe into it and then ask yourself, what is this fear trying to teach me? Often, our fears point us towards our greatest opportunities for growth. They show us where we need to expand, where we need to learn, where we need to become more. So, instead of letting fear stop you, use it as fuel. Let it motivate you to take action, to learn, to grow. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear. It's feeling the fear and taking action anyway. Speaking of action, let's talk about the importance of taking consistent, focused action towards your goals. Thoughts and feelings are powerful, but they need to be backed by action to create real change in your life. Start by breaking your big goals down into small, manageable steps. What's one thing you can do today to move closer to your goal? It doesn't have to be big. Maybe it's making a phone call, doing some research, or practicing a new skill for 15 minutes. The key is consistency. It's better to take small actions every day than to take big actions once in a while. Those small, consistent actions build momentum, reinforce your new beliefs and habits, and show your brain that you're serious about change. Don't wait until you feel ready or motivated to take action. Action often comes before motivation. The act of doing something, even when you don't feel like it, can create the motivation and energy you need to keep moving forward. Now let's talk about setbacks because they will happen. You'll have days when things don't go as planned, you'll encounter obstacles and challenges, and you might even fail at something you try. But here's the difference between winners and everyone else. Winners see setbacks as opportunities. They know that every failure is a chance to learn, grow, and become better. So when you face a setback, don't beat yourself up and don't let it derail you. Instead, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to become stronger and smarter? Then get back up and keep moving. Remember, success is not a straight line. It's a series of ups and downs of successes and failures. The key is to keep moving forward no matter what. Now, let's talk about your environment again, but in a different way. We've discussed your physical environment, but what about your mental and emotional environment? What kind of thoughts and feelings are you surrounding yourself with? Are you constantly criticizing yourself? Are you focusing on what's wrong in your life? Are you comparing yourself to others and feeling like you're not enough? If so, it's time for a mental and emotional declutter. Just like you would clean out your physical space, you need to clean out your mental space. Get rid of negative self-talk, let go of old grudges and resentments, and stop comparing yourself to others. Instead, fill your mind with positive, empowering thoughts. Practice self-compassion. Focus on your own progress, not on how you measure up to others. Surround yourself with people who support and believe in you. And speaking of people, let's talk about the power of community. Winning isn't something you do alone. It's something you do with the support and encouragement of others. Find people who share your goals and values. Join a group or class get a mentor or a coach, and share your journey with others. Not only will they provide support and accountability, but they'll also expand your perspective and introduce you to new ideas and opportunities. Remember, you become like the five people you spend the most time with. So choose your company wisely. Surround yourself with winners, with people who inspire and challenge you to be your best self. Now let's talk about gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most powerful tools you have for changing your life. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you shift your energy from lack to abundance. You train your brain to notice the good things in your life. Start and end each day with gratitude. 
write down three things you're grateful for every morning and every night. They don't have to be big things. Maybe you're grateful for a good cup of coffee, a kind word from a friend, or the comfortable bed you slept in. As you practice gratitude, you'll start to notice more and more things to be grateful for. You'll see the abundance that's already in your life. And from this place of abundance, you'll be better equipped to create even more good things in your life. Now let's talk about your health. Winning isn't just about achieving external goals. It's about feeling good in your body, having energy and vitality, and being free from pain and disease. Your body is the vehicle through which you experience life. It's the instrument you use to pursue your dreams and goals, so you need to take care of it. Eat nourishing foods, get regular exercise, get enough sleep, and take time to relax and de-stress. But it's not just about what you do, it's also about what you believe about your body. Do you see your body as a burden, something that's always breaking down or causing problems? Or do you see it as a miraculous self-healing system that's always working for your highest good? Start talking to your body with love and appreciation. Thank it for all it does for you. Visualize it being healthy and strong. Your body listens to your thoughts and responds accordingly. You can use your mind to heal your body. Through focus meditation and visualization, you can activate your body's natural healing abilities, reduce pain, boost your immune system, and even change gene expression. Now let's talk about purpose. Winning isn't just about achieving goals or accumulating things. It's about living a life of meaning and purpose. It's about making a difference in the world. What's your purpose? What were you put on this earth to do? What unique gifts and talents do you have to offer the world? These are big questions, and you might not have the answers right away, and that's okay. Finding your purpose is a journey. What activities make you lose track of time? What issues or causes make you feel passionate? What do people often come to you for help with? The answers to these questions can point you towards your purpose. And remember, your purpose doesn't have to be something grand or world-changing. It can be as simple as being a good parent, creating beauty through art, or helping others in your community. The key is that it gives your life meaning and fulfillment. When you live with purpose, you tap into a source of energy and motivation that goes beyond just achieving goals. You're no longer working just for yourself. You're working for something greater than yourself. That's when true winning happens. Now let's talk about energy. Everything in the universe is energy, including you. Your thoughts, emotions, and body are all forms of energy. And energy is always in motion. It's always changing. This means you're not stuck with who you are right now. You're not limited by your past or your current circumstances. You have the power to change your energy. And by changing your energy, you change your life. Think of it this way. Everything you want in life, success, health, love, abundance, are all different energy frequencies. You attract experiences that match your energy frequency. So if you want to change your life, you need to change your energy. How do you do this? It starts with your thoughts and emotions. Remember, your thoughts create chemical reactions in your body. These chemicals affect your energy. So when you change your thoughts, you change your energy. But it's not just about positive thinking. It's about feeling the emotions of your desired future in the present moment. It's about living as if your dreams have already become real. This is what I call becoming supernatural. It's when you step out of your past, out of your routine, out of your familiar surroundings, and into the unknown potential of who you could be. Imagine for a moment the person you want to become. See them clearly in your mind. Now, how does this future version of you think? How do they feel? How do they carry themselves? Start embodying these qualities now. Don't wait for your circumstances to change. Be that person today and watch how your circumstances begin to align with this new version of you. This isn't about pretending or faking it. It's about stepping into a new state of being. It's about aligning your energy with the reality you want to create. Now, some of you might be thinking, but what about my past? What about everything that has happened to me? It's true, we all have a past. 
We all have experiences that have shaped us. But here's the thing, your past only defines you if you let it. Your brain is designed to be changed by experience, but most people keep reliving the same experiences over and over in their minds, reinforcing the same neural pathways, creating the same emotions, and therefore creating the same reality. But what if you started creating new experiences in your mind? What if you began rehearsing your desired future instead of reliving your past? This is the power of mental rehearsal. When you vividly imagine yourself living your ideal life, your brain doesn't know the difference between what's happening in your mind and what's happening in reality. It begins creating new neural pathways as if those experiences were really happening. So every day, take time to mentally rehearse your ideal future. See it, feel it, live it in your mind. The more you do this, the more real it becomes to your brain and the more your brain will help you create that reality in your life. Now let's talk about the quantum field. This might sound a bit scientific, but stay with me. This is where things get really exciting. Quantum physics tells us that at the most fundamental level, everything is energy and information. There's a field of infinite possibilities all around us. This field responds to your thoughts and feelings. It responds to your energy. When you change your energy through your thoughts, emotions, and actions, you send a new signal into this field, and the field responds by reorganizing reality to match your new energy. This means your future is not set in stone. It's not determined by your past or your current circumstances. Your future is created by the choices you make in each moment, by the energy you put out into the world. So how do you tap into this field of infinite possibilities? How do you create the future you want? It starts with getting clear about what you want, not just vague ideas, but specific detailed visions of your desired future. What does it look like? How does it feel? Who are you in this future? Then you need to align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with this vision. This is where meditation comes in. When you meditate, you quiet the noise of the external world and the chatter of your mind. You create space to connect with the quantum field in this state of stillness and connection, you can begin to feel the emotions of your desired future. You can begin to embody the energy of the person you want to become. And as you do this, you send a clear signal into the quantum field. But here's the key. You need to do this consistently. You can't just meditate once and expect your whole life to change. You need to make this a daily practice. You need to become someone who consistently aligns their energy with their desired future. And as you do this, you'll start to notice changes in your life. Opportunities will appear, people will come into your life who can help you, and solutions to problems will become clear. It might seem like coincidence or luck, but it's not. It's you aligning with the field of infinite possibilities. Now let's talk about breaking free from your old self. To create a new future, you need to become a new person. You need to break free from the thoughts, emotions, and behaviors that have kept you stuck in the past. This can be challenging. Your old self, with all its habits, beliefs, and emotional patterns, feels familiar and safe, even if it's not serving you. It's what you know, and your brain likes what it knows. It likes predictability and routine. But remember, your brain is designed to change. It's designed to learn and grow, and you have the power to direct that change. Start by becoming aware of your habitual thoughts and behaviors. Notice when you're falling into old patterns and then consciously choose to do something different. Choose a new thought, choose a new behavior, choose a new emotional response. At first, this will feel uncomfortable. Your brain will resist, trying to pull you back to your old ways. This is normal. It's just your brain trying to conserve energy by sticking with what it knows. But if you persist, if you keep choosing the new, Eventually, it will become your new normal. Your brain will create new neural pathways, your body will adjust to new emotional states, and you'll become a new person, someone who naturally thinks, feels, and acts in alignment with your desired future. This is what true transformation looks like. It's not just about achieving goals or changing your circumstances. It's about becoming a new you. And here's the beautiful thing. As you become this new you, your outer world will begin to change to reflect your inner transformation. 
This is the law of correspondence at work. Your outer world is always a reflection of your inner world. So if you want to change your life, focus on changing yourself. Focus on becoming the person who already has what you want. Live from that mindset, think from that place. Now let's talk about the power of the present moment because all of this transformation, all of this creation happens in the now. The past is gone and the future hasn't arrived yet. All you have is this moment. Most people spend their lives either dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. But when you're caught in thoughts of the past or future, you're not fully present, you're not truly alive, and you can't access the creative power of the present moment. The present moment is where all your power lies. It's where you make choices, where you take action, and where you connect with the quantum field. So practice being present. When you're eating, be fully present with your food. When you're talking to someone, be fully present with them. When you're working, be fully present with your task. And most importantly, when you're meditating or visualizing your future, be fully engaged with those experiences. Don't just go through the motions. Fully engage your mind and emotions. The more present you become, the more power you have to shape your reality. The more present you become, the more you can tap into the infinite potential of who you truly are. Now, let's talk about the importance of persistence. Because creating a new reality and becoming a new version of yourself takes time, practice, and persistence. There will be days when you don't feel like meditating. There will be times when old patterns try to reassert themselves. There will be moments when you doubt yourself and your ability to change. This is all part of the process. Change isn't always comfortable and growth isn't always easy, but it's in these challenging moments that you have the opportunity to prove to yourself what you're truly capable of. When you feel like giving up, that's when you need to push through. When you don't see immediate results, that's when you need to trust the process. When your old self tries to pull you back, that's when you need to recommit to your new self. Remember, every time you choose your new self over your old self, you're strengthening those new neural pathways, reinforcing your new energy pattern and sending a stronger signal into the quantum field. Something powerful to remember, the universe doesn't count your failures. It doesn't keep score of how many times you've fallen back into old patterns. All that matters is that you keep going. All that matters is that you keep choosing your new self, your new future, because every moment is a new beginning. Every moment is a chance to start fresh, to realign with your vision, to recommit to your transformation. So don't get discouraged by setbacks. Don't let temporary failures define you. Instead, see them as opportunities to learn, grow, and become even stronger in your commitment to change. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small it might seem. Did you meditate for five minutes today? Celebrate that. Did you choose a positive thought over a negative one? Celebrate that. Did you take one small action towards your goals? Celebrate that. These small victories add up. They create momentum, build your confidence, and reinforce the belief that you are capable of change, that you are worthy of success, and that you are creating your new reality. As we come to the end of this talk, I want you to remember one thing. You are more powerful than you can imagine. You have within you the ability to create any reality you desire. You have the power to become anyone you want to be. This power has always been within you. It's not something you need to acquire or earn. It's your birthright as a conscious being. All you need to do is claim it. All you need to do is use it. So from this moment forward, I want you to make a commitment to yourself a commitment to step into your power, a commitment to create the life you truly desire, a commitment to become the best version of yourself. Remember, you are going to win, not because of luck or chance, but because you have the power to create your own reality. You have the power to shape your own destiny. So go out there and create, go out there and become, go out there and win. The future you desire is waiting for you. All you need to do is step into it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being open to these ideas. And thank you for being willing to change, to grow, and to become more. The world needs you. The world needs your gifts, your talents, your unique perspective. 
So go forth and create miracles. Go forth and live an extraordinary life. Go forth and win because you can, because you will, because you already are.